All right, everybody. So now we are on the next section called Analyze SMB Traffic. And as we mentioned last class, SMB, this is a protocol that we use to transfer files locally. So in, in this section, we're going to get a better understanding of that and how we can use protocol analyzers such as Wireshark to sniff that traffic. First thing I'm going to do is clear this stuff out. Okay. We want to start up a new packet capture. I'm going to stop this. If yours was started, just go ahead and stop it by clicking the red square here. Mine isn't red anymore because I already stopped it. And we are going to restart Wireshark. And we are going to continue without saving. Afterwards, we are going to log into PC1. So let's switch over to PC1 and open up this file explorer. And now we're going to look at how SMB works. Remember we said that SMB is how we transfer files or how we retrieve files from other devices locally on our local area network. So we are on PC1. We are going to go we're not going to retrieve any files, but we're going to go take a look at some files on DC1, our domain controller. Okay, we are going to remotely take a look at some files. So if I hit enter, if I type that in the address bar and hit enter, and if you miss what I typed, it's right here on step three. Once you get here, you will see a bunch of different files and applications that are in this location that we just went to. Okay, this is SMB. This is how SMB works. We just remotely went to a different location on a different system. And what we can do is drag and drop. We could copy files over to our desktop, over to our local machine if we needed to. Now let's hop back over to our Kali machine and take a look at this traffic we just did. Oh, before we do, before we do, let's open up this confidential file here. And notice what this says, the password is courage. Okay, we can close that out. We can close this out and let's switch back to our Kali machine. And as soon as we get there, let's stop that packet capture. Okay. Now, before we analyze the SMB traffic, let's point out this Kerberos traffic right here. This traffic right here is Kerberos authenticating us in order, authenticating and authorizing us to do that SMB uh, transfer that we, or that SMB traffic we just did. It authorized it, right? Our credentials were already logged into the computer. Kerberos more than likely used the ticket that we used to log into the computer to give us access to that SMB share, to that SMB location. Okay, and this that is this traffic here. Right? Now, what we are going to do now, let's sort, I'm gonna drag this over a little bit. Let us sort our information just by tapping it. All I did was tap info. This is it right here. And what we are going to do, we are going to look at some SMB traffic. Now I may just filter this out. Okay, never mind. I won't filter it out. Um, I might if this gets too messy. So we are looking for a specific packet that has this field or this description in the info field. Okay. It shouldn't be too difficult to find. I think I have to scroll down just a little bit more. It usually comes after these create requests. Did I pass it? Oh, let's keep scrolling. 
we see some IOCTL responses here, um, which is good, right? This is what you may see either or. You may see it as net share enum all, or you may see it as IC, IOCTL responses, not the request. Okay, this is what the the server, or this is the packet. These are the packets that the server used to send us those lists that we looked at, the list of shares or the list of objects in that share that we looked at. And we can see it here. Okay, we can see the different files and the different applications that were actually on that share. And we can see, or we can kind of see, here we go, this is what I wanted. Net share in them all. We can we can actually see the server sending us that information, right? So see if you can find this. I'm going to show you a shortcut. I didn't want to do it first. I wanted to. I didn't want to use the shortcut first. I wanted to scroll down with you to show you how you could also find it. But if you can't find this net share enum all. Just go ahead into this display filter and type in SRV SVC and hit enter. And it should be a lot easier for you to see it now. Like I said, I didn't want to do this at first, but since we found it the long way, here it is as well. And as we're looking at this, I want us to look at this bottom pane where the hexadecimals are and grab this bar and scroll down with me. And I want you to look at what I'm looking at. I see admin dollar sign. This tells me this is another share that we can access, right? Just like the lab file share we just accessed. That that folder that we access is a shared folder. Can okay, I see some more? I see remote admin or rem yeah, remote admin. That may be a group or a share. I see the C drive. I see a default share, right? This packet capture is giving us a lot more information. Active Directory Certificate Service Share, IPC Share. Now keep in mind that most some of these shares are hidden from us when we were on PC1. See Remote IPC. Then we see our Lab File Share right here, right? Um, Net Log On Sys Volume. Yeah, so every this is how useful packet captures are. See how much information we're looking at. Just imagine if we were an adversary or a threat actor, maybe an APT, and we had access to the local area network. Look at how much information we could gather. This is a lot. This is definitely a lot. And I want to show you something. It's outside of this, this, this lab. Uh, so let's just mark this before I show you so we don't lose our place. Now, we see these shares here we see sysvol we see logon server scroll up a little bit we see net logon right here scroll up a little bit we see lab files we see remote ipc let's switch over to pc1 really quick i'm going to show you something i'm going to open up the file explorer and i'm going to do another SMB traversal, DC1. Let's go to lab files and let's go back a folder. Let's click DC1 and look at this. Sysvol, net log on, certain row, lab files. This is these are the other shares that we saw. These are exactly the other shares that we saw. And if I hit view and select hidden items, it's not going to show it to us now. Maybe we don't have permission. But I wanted, well, see, we only see certain row, lab files, sysvol, net log on. We see four. If we go back to Cali, we saw more. We saw IPC, right? The IPC share. These are hidden shares. All right? The admin share. I just wanted you to see how powerful, how powerful protocol analyzers are. All right, we can see hidden shares here, but we couldn't see them on the actual machine. Okay, so 
Um, right, we already did this. Uh, we could also right click and follow the TCP stream to see what we just saw, but we just read it from this pane here. So feel free to give that a try. So now we have, uh, we want to go look at the cr create response files. Okay, the create response files. And I'm going to clear this out right here out, out of my filter. The create response files. This is used by the server to send the information we were requesting. So I'm just going to hover my, I'm just going to scroll down a little bit because it shouldn't be too, oh, actually, I think it's up. Let's see. Here we go. Yeah, I scrolled up a little bit. But you can see that the server is getting our response packaged up for us. See all those files that are in that location. Keep scrolling down. Let's go to the response. Whoops, went too fast. Yeah, let's filter it out just for SMB traffic. This is too much noise. So here we go. This is better. Now, where were we? Yep. So we see all the create, all the responses being created here, or all the requests being created. Okay. And now let's highlight this. We see the files and the server is responding to us with the file location. That's why we saw everything we saw on PC1. We saw the list of, of all those files, including that confidential file, that confidential text file. Now, if we go to, now, what I'm going to do, actually, I think I just saw it. Because now we want to look at that confidential file. I want you to see that this packet analyzer was able to capture what we read inside of the confidential file. So what I want you to do is clear your filter out, completely clear it. And I want you to type in SMB2, select enter. And I want you to switch your sorts out, okay? Um, we're gonna filter or sort by the number of packets. And either way it works, I like to have the latest packet at the top. And we want to look for the last read response. Okay, so I'm going to scroll to the top. Remember the read responses are, are it's those are packets that are coming from the server. Okay. So I want to look for the last one. The last read response, it should be somewhere right over here. There we go. Here is the request. It's when we made a request for a certain file and here's the response. And if you look at this response, it's actually the response that was written inside of the text file that we opened. The password is courage. Okay, this right here was the packet that the server used to send the contents of that file to PC1. Okay, this is the packet. So definitely play around with this. Uh, go through these steps over and over and over for understanding. Please do. If you have any questions, feel free to send us an email and we can try to help you out even further. All right, I'll see you on the next section. Thank you.